We start the roundup of this week's Liga highlights at the Stade de la Bourgeois, where Monaco picked up their first point of the season. Serge Gakpé missed an early penalty, and the host were made to pay as Radamel Falcao making his first start since January. Powered home ahead just before half time to hand Monaco a 1 0 victory. Saint Etienne and Rance were locked in a tight affair at the stand at Geoffroy Guichard. Pedro Henrique came closest for Rennes when he hit the foot of the post, while Medlet Erding was left through a penalty miss against his former side. His effort kept out by Benoit Castile as it finished goalless. Sante dropping their first point of the season. Nice got off to a great start against high flying Bordeaux at the Allianz Riviera as Alexi Bassetti met a superb 11th minute opener. But from there it was all downhill for the hosts. Jake Diabate, Bordeaux's leading scorer from last season, equalised from the penalty spot later in the first period after a foul on Wabi Kazri. And the Mali striker had a big hand in his side's second goal as he teed up teammate Nicolas Maurice Ballet who gave Willie Samuel's side the lead just after the break. Gregory Sertic added a third shortly after as Bordeaux hit the home side on the counter-attack. And although Diabate was sent off late on, Bordeaux kept their perfect record intact with a 3-1 victory. Marseille gave Marcelo Bielsa his first victory as André Pierre Gignac continued his fine start to the season away to Gangor. The striker volleyed home his third goal of the campaign just seconds after the half time interval to give Marseille all three points at the Stade de Rouderou. The absence of star striker Zlatan Ibrahimovic was keenly felt by title holders Paris Saint Germain as Laurent Blanc's side struggled mightily away to rock bottom Evian. Edinson Cavani had the best chance for the visitors but was denied by Evian keeper Jesper Hansen before PSG keeper Salvatore Sirigu pulled off a superb save late on to keep up Nicolas Benesse and preserve a point for PSG. Lens are finally up and running on their return to the top tier after compounding Lyon's misery at the Stade Gelonde. Alana Norman Janahari struck the game's only goal after 11 minutes as Antoine Cambroé's men secured their first points and goal of the season in a 1 0 victory. Goals have been hard to come by for Lille this season, but they finally broke free of the shackles at the Stade Pierre Mouar on Saturday. Midfielder Jonathan Delaplace with a rare goal to give the host the lead just before the hour. And they'd wrap up the points. 15 minutes from time, defender Hyaman Kia with a deflected free kick. As they ran out, 2 0 winners have yet to concede a goal. <laughs> History was made as there was a first ever top flight meeting between Rance and promoted Caen at the Stade Auguste de Lune. It was goalless until 7 minutes from the finish when substitute Hervé. Basile, who was playing in the third division last season, set up N'Golo Kante, who put visiting car in front with his second goal of the season. France were left chasing the game, and that caused the host to be exposed at the back. And Caen duly took advantage, with Julian Ferro releasing at Bangala for the Coita, who then squared for Basile. The Haitian with the simplest of tasks, as he tucked away his first Ligue 1 goal to wrap up a 2-0 win for Caen. Montpellier collected back-to-back -back wins in Ligue 1 for the first time since early February as they beat New Boys Metz. Yakatiane puts Montpellier ahead on the stroke of half-time with a free kick. Fort Suleiman Kamara ended his long goal drought late on to cap a 2-0 victory for the home side. And finally, Bastia put the Brandao incident behind them as Rad Budabu slotted home a first half spot kick to give the Islanders a 1 0 victory in Corsica and hand Claude Makaleli the first victory of his coaching career. Here's a look at all the results from this weekend. Not a great spectacle in terms of goals, although Bordeaux can't be blamed. Willie Samuel promised goals and they've certainly delivered on that promise so far. Lille, meanwhile, yet to concede after a third straight clean sheet. Well, it's Bordeaux who lead the way after three rounds of matches. 
Lee Giron down, the only team with a 100% record to this point. Santa Tien dropped their first points, but stay second. Come on, punching above their weight in fourth, while PSG lies sixth. Everyone got on the board with their draw against PSG, but the Haute Savoie Club stay at the foot of the table. Monaco climb out to the bottom three with their first point of the campaign. Metz and Rance still looking for their first win, while Leon are 13th. Next week's fixtures are the last before the international break. Marseille get the ball rolling at home to Nice on Friday evening before Monaco lock horns with Lille on a Saturday. Next up for high-flying Bordeaux will be Bastia, while PSG hosts Saint-Étienne in Sunday's late kickoff.